Hello everyone, and today we're continuing Miss Lazar is Bazaar. And we're on chapter seven. Miss Lazar's secret identity. The next day, that kid Robbie, who sits in front of me, didn't come to school again. Miss Daisy told us he had chicken pox, which is a dumb disease that makes no sense because you can get it even if you never touch a chicken. After we finished pledging the allegiance, we made get well cards for Robbie. Andrea made a picture of a smiling Robbie with butterflies and flowers around him. I made a picture of Robbie sword fighting with a chicken and chopping its head off. While we were drawing our pictures, we started talking about Miss Lazar. Do you think Miss Lazar is a real superhero? Ryan asked. Well, she did kill the ghost in the toilet, Michael said, so we know she has superpowers. She's got a uniform with letters on it, too, I said. Superheroes always wear cool uniforms. They always have a secret place they go when they need to be alone, said Ryan. Miss Lazar has a secret room down in the basement. I didn't think Andrea and her little nosy girlfriends were listening to us, but of course they were. You boys are silly dumbheads, said Andrea. Miss Lazar isn't a superhero. Yeah, agreed Emily. She's just a custodian. Andrea thinks she knows everything, but I bet I know a whole lot more about superheroes than she does, because I have lots of superhero comic books at home. And I was sure that Miss Lazar was a superhero. Maybe Miss Lazar isn't a custodian at all, I said. Did you ever think of that? Superheroes always have a secret identity. Like, Superman is really Clark Kent, and Batman is really Bruce Wayne, and Spider-Man is really Peter Parker. Maybe being a custodian is just Miss Lazar's secret identity. Yeah, said Ryan, and maybe Robbie doesn't really have chicken pox either. Maybe he's locked in the secret room in Miss Lazar's office. Stuff like that happens all the time, you know. Maybe Robbie was the kid who put the crayons down the toilet, I said. Maybe he got caught. Miss Lazar told us she keeps the bad kids in the secret room. Stop, stop trying to scare us, Emily, said Andrea. Remember last year when that kid Stephen moved away? Michael asked. Maybe he didn't move away at all. Maybe he was bad. Maybe Stephen and Robbie are locked in the secret room in Miss Lazar's office. We've got to do something, said Emily, and she went running out of the class. Emily is weird. Miss Daisy collected our cards and told us to clean off our desks because it was time for math. I hate math. We are learning multiplication, which makes no sense at all. Miss Daisy, I don't understand the three times table, this girl named, named Annette said. Me neither, said Daisy, said Miss Daisy, who doesn't know anything. But don't tell Mr. Klutz. If he finds out I can't do math, I'll get fired. Everyone was trying to teach Miss Daisy the three times table. We put three pencils on her desk and told her three times one is three. Then we put three more pencils on her desk and told her three times two is six. Then we put three more pencils on her desk and told her three times three is nine. I don't get it, said Miss Daisy. She must be the dumbest teacher in the history of the world. We had to show her all over again. While we were doing math, I was thinking about something much more important, Miss Lazar. If she was really a superhero pretending to be a custodian, there was only one sure way to find out. We had to sneak into Miss Lazar's secret room down in the basement. The secret of the secret room. I wrote this note and slipped it to Michael. Meet after school by the big turtle. We can sneak into Miss Lazar's secret room. Pass note to Ryan. Michael read the note and gave me the thumbs up sign. Then he passed the note over to Ryan. Ryan read the note and gave me the thumbs up sign. Then he put the note in his mouth and started chewing it. Ryan will eat anything, even stuff that is not food. He's weird. At the end of the day, me and Michael and Ryan met in the playground near the big turtle. I just saw Miss Lazar mopping the vomitorium, said Michael. She'll be there at least half an hour. Let's go, I said. We snuck back in the school through the side door, being quiet like mice. We tiptoed down the steps to the basement. Hey, why did you eat the note? I whispered to Ryan. I had to destroy the evidence so it wouldn't fall into the wrong hands, said Ryan. I saw somebody do that in a movie once. Good thinking, I said, even though I think Ryan just likes eating paper. Shh, Michael shushed. 
We slid against the walls and crouched down so nobody could see us. We were like real secret agents, except we didn't have guns or trench coats. It was cool. The door to Miss Lazar's office was wide open. We went inside. Quick, Ryan said. Somebody could come in any minute. I went to the door of the secret room. It was closed. I put my hand on the knob. It turned. I pulled open the door. It was a little room, not much bigger than a closet. It was dark in there. We couldn't see much. Something was hanging on the walls. Turn on the light, said Michael. I found a switch on the wall. You'll never guess in a million hundred years what was hanging all over the walls in Miss Lazar's secret room. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Toilet bowl plungers. There must have been about 20 of them. There were big plungers and little plunger, plungers, fat plungers and skinny plungers, plungers in every color. Some of them had little cards next to them explaining what company made the plunger and what year it was made. It was like a museum of toilet bowl plungers. Wow, I said. Miss Lazar really likes toilet bowl plungers. My mom collects glass paperweights and my uncle Eric collects old radios but I never heard of anyone who collected toilet bowl plungers. That's a weird thing to collect. We closed the door to the secret room and got her there fast. Miss Lazar is bizarre. All right. I hope you're liking it as much as I am. I'll see you next time.